Today, we are going to look at how to share Teams files with people who are not members of your team. Teams is a collaborative space where everyone who is a member automatically has the ability to collaborate and edit documents that are created or saved in Teams. A common misconception is that you cannot change the sharing settings for these files. Everyone must be a member of the team to see the file. We will look at two ways to share the file, and if you hang out to the end, I will show you how to restrict a file as well. In today's example, I have asked my coworker Diego to help me edit a file, and I asked him to join my team. He politely said, Heather, I already belong to several different teams. Please don't make me join another one. Well, that's okay. I can share this file with Diego by clicking on the three dots and selecting copy link. In the version of Teams I'm using, you can see the new sharing link experience. What I can do is click on the link settings, and it's currently set to anyone in the organization with the link can have access to my document. That's way too many people. I can choose people with existing access or specific people. I specifically want Diego to help me, so I'm going to type in his name. And then I can choose whether or not Diego is allowed to edit the document. Since I'm asking him for help with editing, I'm going to leave the check mark in the box and then click apply. And now Diego will have access to this document, but how is he going to find it? Well, I'm going to copy the link and go to Outlook and create a new message. I am going to paste the link into the email and it quickly shortens the link so that all you see is the file name and it turned the link blue. This is my visual indication that Diego will have access to this file when I send the email. I'm going to add another person to the email and ask Nestor for help as well. And notice that the link turned red. The reason the link turned red is because I granted Diego permission specifically, but not Nestor. If you click on the hyperlink, you can go to manage access and you can say recipients of this message. And it will automatically update the permission to this document and include Nestor as well as Diego, neither of whom belong to my team. Now my two coworkers have access to this file and they can help me with my project. The second way that you can share a file with someone who is not a member of your team is to go to the SharePoint site associated with your team and manage the access there. Now that we are in SharePoint, you can see that the sharing option is in the toolbar at the top of the screen, as well as in the document itself. So let's click on the sharing link and then you will get the dialog box. From here, we can specify additional names. I can grant additional people access to my document and then I can click on the pencil icon to decide whether or not this person should be able to view or edit. I'm gonna click on link settings, and here you can see the dialog box that looks just like the one we looked at earlier in the video. This coworker does not need to edit the document, so I'm going to deselect allow editing and then click apply. What we've done so far is shared this document with three different people who do not belong to my testing team. The last tip I'm going to share with you as a bonus is how to restrict access to a document in Teams. If you click on the three dots for show actions, you will see the option to manage access. By default, when you upload a document or create a document in Teams, all team members have the right to edit the document. All you have to do is switch it to can view and now team members and team visitors cannot edit this document. Only team owners can do that. One reason you might consider using this setting is if you are posting documents to your team that everyone needs to read, but only specific people need to edit. I hope this sharing files and teams video was helpful. If it was, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.